Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man X1. In the last part, we defeated... Uh, we defeated Spark Manual, Armored Armadillo, and we got the Heart Piece from Joe Penguin. In this episode, we're going to take on Octopus, which... Is, it has the most annoying level in the whole game, so yeah. Be prepared for me probably dying a lot. <laughs> Well, it's not the most annoying. There's a part of it that's really annoying, but you'll you'll see it. I'll let you know when when it's coming up. Let's get out your uh, storm tornado. Kind of you run this, but it's kind of cool because if you put on your fire, it works. It doesn't. It works. It doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cool. At least I like actually put in mechanics from like real life into this game. You know, that's kind of cool. Oh, seahorses, run! Avoid them, don't even attack them. Alright, ooh, whoa, submarine. Basically, this thing, um, fight two of these in this level. Um, basically, you want to slide dash out. Or you can use a tornado, that's also good. To defeat it. Basically, it either sucks or blows. It fires out little torpedo thingies at you, which is never good, you know. Um,. Uh, and yeah, so it takes a lot to hit and kill actually, which is really good. So, um, these things also suck you in. You have to fire, I think, 10 shots of whatever you're doing. So just jump 10 times, it also counts. This is the part that everybody hates at this game, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost died there. See that? I should have died, honestly. I should have died. I did not, though. So just constantly jump. You take, you take less of the, uh, Blowing effect, you can get a little backwards, you know. That's always good, but this part is the part that everyone hates about this game. So, I defeated it, actually, surprisingly. So, let's just keep going. These little, these little tornadoes, hold on to me. You can jump up them, which is good. And you can go here and get a energy, which isn't necessary, but there is one that is necessary. I'll show it to you. This one. I want to go up this one to get up this ship. Fire it with the uh, fire wave. And it will. sink. And it will explode with spikes. Causing it to go further down. Into this pit of abyss. Which is all the spikes. And a sea monster! Kill it! That's what you want to do for the sea monster. <laughs> for those of you who don't know. Stuff, yes. And if you go over here, you get a heart tank. Yays! Happy faced. Alright. And that's basically all I want to do for that. This um, storm tornado basically just annihilates all these sea monster things. So that's all you have. Just use that against them. Like, I would recommend against using the Mega Buster. This area takes just a long time. There's another one over here. Ooh! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! And there we go. Wasn't too hard. And now you're probably thinking, if you play Mega Man, you never played Mega Man X, you probably think my health is at its max. Well, it's not. Actually, far from it. Well, not far from it, but it is not at its max. In this game, your health actually goes above your uh, weapon energy, which is kind of cool, I think. You got your rolling shield, which actually has weakness. I don't really know why, but it is. And yeah, let's keep going. So menacing. It actually scared me as a kid one time. I was like, am I going down? What do you mean by that? I thought I was, like, I was going to hell. Like, I was so scared. Basically, just avoid his missiles. This is probably the hardest boss. I'm not taking any damage in. You're going to take damage eventually, so just accept your fate. He has this. I'll show it to you what it does. It sucks your energy and gives it to him, which is pretty stupid. So that's not good. That's all his attacks. Shoots out regular missiles. Shoots out homing missiles. Um, so yeah, we are almost dead. There we go. <laughs> Man, stop doing that. E drain. Ooh, dodge, thank you. Finally, I killed him. Good. And that's that. So let's go. Next is the. Boomer Quanger level, which is 
It has the coolest music out of all of them. Oops, crap. Oh well, I'll show the missiles. I keep doing that on I don't know why. Here's Boomer Quanger, so it's specs. <clears throat> he is 7 feet 9, 7.93 feet tall, 206 pounds, attack beam cutter, and deadlift. That's not good. Let's just fight him anyways. Like, there's three bosses usually of every Mega Man game, it's like really hard to fight without the weakness. In this game, it's Launch Octopus, Boomer Quanger, and Stink Chameleon. But, like, those other ones you could probably kill without the uh, weakness. But those are the ones that, like, always, like, scared me as a kid. So I always, like, put. I always put the, um, Mavericks in, um, certain, like. Um, what do you call it? <clears throat> like, categories. Like, the easy ones, the medium ones, the hard ones. So, yeah. That, like. Those three were the hard ones. Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle, and Spark Mando were the easy ones. Flame Mammoth and, uh. Arm and Arm and Dilla were always like the medium ones. Which basically is true, it's like when it comes to difficulty, so. This is just basically an elevator. Those things will kill you in one hit, so don't take damage or don't go up to them. I think I think it's an instant kill, maybe it's not. Yep, instant kill. How did I even die? Oh well. I just saw the dying animation once, I guess. <laughs> Here we are in part whatever. Anyways, I get the thing again to explain this episode. It's basically just a big ass tower. Climbing a whole tower to fight the boss. Some new enemies, some new all that good stuff. The music, as I said, is really good. This part, if you um, jump on the lasers when the red light is going, then you will get attacked. So, that's no good. Here we have one of those big fat octopus things out. I think, like, they always remind me of a cross between octopus and a chicken. I never got that. Anyways, ooh, energy. So yes, don't don't go under those spikes because it is instant death. So uh, don't do it. I probably double tap this uh, dash. That's probably my, that's probably what I did. It gets faster and faster and faster and faster. Ooh, I could have died there. Luckily, I had taken damage and slows down right here, which is good. Now, there are parts on this wall that you can like hit and not take damage from, but when you hit the sides, it doesn't kill you. It takes it takes a lot of damage though. So. Avoid those at all if at all possible. Hey. Yeah. Alright, um basically this part, you're outside. You fight a lot of these spider guys in the walls. I'll show it off the missiles. You turn a cool grey color when you shoot missiles, they're homing. They do always try to home in on something that's on screen. Kills those spider guys in one hit, that's always good to know. It's a good way to speed run this little area. Kind of. But I'm no speedrun person. I do not know all the glitches in this game. I do not know everything about this game. I just know a lot about it. Yeah. Alright. So we're almost at the top. And we are at the top. Alright. So this... See the heart tank? I can't get it with anything I have. I can't jump to it. I can't do anything. But... I'll show you guys the, um... Charged up ice beam. Right now. Or ice shotgun ice. Create a slide. Oh. You make me want to kill myself. Not really though. Basically, what I want to do is jump dash, and you got it. All right, good. Coolio. All right, so let's uh, see if we can get this boss in before the end of the episode. Cause I doubt I can. I don't know. Maybe I can though. All right, All right let's hurry. Basically, this whole place is full of platforms and but not good stuff. Alright, let's go. We are at Boomer Quanger's level, which is weakness. It is the homing missiles, which is why you want to fight Launch Octopus before this guy. This guy is also very difficult because he does that. He disappears repeatedly without. Um, um, like, he appears by you. He uses that Boomer thing, which draws you near him. Basically, you just want to keep on the walls at all times. Just shooting missiles at a constant rhythm. You'll eventually kill him. Fast. <laughs> he was about to do the deadlift, but he failed. Alright, that's sad. That's Boomer Quanger. We're getting a steady uh, two bosses out of 
episode, except for the first episode where I couldn't get one out. This is the intro stage. Alright, here we have... Boomerang Cutter. And we get another gray color, which is weird, because it's like the same gray, but a little darker. And that's it, alright. Alright, so, there's the password if you want it. And, oh, this is all Farm Fury signing out of Mega Man X1. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I have some specs for Steam Chameleon. 5'8, 169 pounds. See you guys next time.